the truth is if you cannot change um, where it comes from you know if you cannot change why it was born in the first place then you are basically fooling yourself you know and that's the choice that I made you know that's the choice that I made I chose uh, I choose to realize that and you know as a black man as a black man I'm disgusted by that word I will not use it as a term of endearment you know if you choose to be a nigger then that's what you shall be you know but we choose to be niggers you know So when we come and say, no, you are not a nigga, man, you know, and yeah, they look at us like, uh, yeah, I am, I'm black, <laughs> I should be a nigga, you know what I'm saying? So a lot has to do with the traditional way of living and what, what's been put into this kid's head from, from, from you know, an uh, early age. So it's hard for them to break out of that and, and say, no, I'm not, you know? You mean that's what really happened? But no one really take the step into really teaching them, like, it, it, was, it was all uh, something that happened that should have never happened, and, and, and now you have a chance to step out of it. I love my life, I love it, yeah, I love the way that I'm living, I love it, yeah. You wonder why I love it so much, well, cause the struggle and pain was last year. I love my life, I love it, yeah, I love the way that I'm living, I love it, I love yeah. my life. You wonder why I love it so much, well, cause the struggle and pain was last year. I love my life, I love it, yeah, I love the way that I'm living, I love it, yeah. From the East Coast to the West Coast of every continent, fists on our phone. Head niggas, you know we rockin' it. Regime change the world, keep the night lights lit. Stepping lively, exposing all you culprits. Welcome to the combination of every nation. Thank you for your patience, I know it's been long awaited. Representing every hood, niggas up to all good. We policing the police, these are our neighborhoods. Treating every child like they ours, like a nigga should. They know they can, so we know we good. Uh, Do our best, be our best, and give our best to them. Uh, a true shooting star is yeah. the sparkle yeah. in their grin. Can you feel the heat get color like a tanning salon, son? Nigga's hot as shit under the sun. Well, to me, definition of a nigga is someone that's uh, uh, self aware, self led, self inspired. Self, uh, selfless when it comes to his people, you know, that's someone that knows that we all are experiencing life in our own individual way. A Negus is the master of his own universe, controller of his own destiny, destined for greatness. It's about individuality, it's about being a king, it's about being a queen, it's about finding your sense of purpose, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what you were put on this earth to do. And they really talk about powerful, positive messages about being your own person, about being true to yourself, and, and being proud of who you are. It really helps me to get up and do what I gotta do every day, you know, knowing that, you know, giving myself the, giving myself the title of being a Negis is like, all right, now I have to live up to it, you know, it just can't, it just can't be, oh, I'm a Negis and that's it. It's like we have this burning passion within us to, uh, you know, make this world a better place and, you know, break down these racial and cultural boundaries and, uh, you know, unite the youth and, and the underground and, you know, everyone who, uh, you know, feels the same. L'ambition, exemplaire, en fait, voilà, comme Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, voilà, des gens qui ont fait avancer les choses, quoi. Mais tes couronnes dans ce tête ça c'est que, et bien, pourquoi tout le monde a dénigré ou pour vous faire perdre l'identité ou non, ou fier de soi, il y a quelque soit noir, blanc, chinois, whatever, so you are proud. It, it's something that makes people more in tune and gives them some type of cultural awareness of who they are and defines what their purpose is in life. Pour moi, un égout, c'est. C'est un roi, mais un roi, pas un, un roi escroc, un roi, un vrai roi, quelqu'un qui peut diriger un peuple, quelqu'un qui est capable de faire des choses et qui est, qui est tout simplement positif. Ça représente pour moi des personnes qui sont fortes et courageuses dans leur vie, qui vont toujours vers l'avant. Donc ça, c'est une définition aussi très, qui est très personnelle de par ce que tu vis et de ce que tu as vécu. We have 
basically world leaders of their community, community leaders, community activists, all involved in the Negroes movement because we're all one. So it's, it's, it's really branched out, it's really big. It's, it's really what the world's <laughs> been asking for subconsciously and now it's being brought to the light, being brought physically out and we're all promoting it. Um, on uh, November 6th, November 6th, I remember I went to, um, I went to my homegirl's house, uh, which was Ethiopian, and um, I asked her, um, how do you say king in Ethiopian? And uh, she told me, Negus, and uh, it struck me because uh, uh, he has so much, uh, it sounded so much like, uh, it sounded so much like the other word, uh, the, the nigger word. Now, ironically enough, I myself was on my way to Trinity University in Hartford because they wanted me to come and perform. Uh, and then this guy, Z, uh, called me and he said, yo, there's a lot of bad things going on at the school, so please just, just talk about how negative the word is. Now my brother is still at the Ethiopian spot getting his hair fixed and he just found out how to say king. In, uh, in the Ethiopian language, which is Negus. So I called him up and I'm like, yo, do you know how do you, do you know how you say king in Ethiopian, in the motherland of black of the black man? And he told me no. I told him, yeah, well, it's it's Negus. I immediately was like, whoa, this is too close, you know, like nigga to Negus, you know, it's it's it's. So and then from then it, it, it's. Everything else is history. I choose to tattoo it on my chest the very same day because I really felt like it symbolized something uh, that was greater than what I could understand, that what I could comprehend. And, and little by little, um, people around us start being inspired by it. And then as soon as I come back from, from Connecticut, we were talking about, yo, we need to let the whole world know about this, this word, you know? That day, we, uh, we decided to get organized, you know, make t-shirts, um, you know, at first, that's that's really what it was about, just, just, just spreading the word. So we start spending money making t-shirts and uh, talking about it on stage in, and in our music. You know, and uh, little by little, music being uh, the best way to carry on a message. A lot of people heard about it, you know, and got back to us and, uh, uh, and uh, to make it the thing that it is today. This world is a is a perfect example on how you know a, a positive message can mobilize many nations. You know, and, uh, just bring them to come together and do uh, amazing things. You know, it, it empowers every individual to be a king or a queen and and be responsible for their own actions and be responsible for this world. You can label that royalty because that's how royalty treat themselves. They, they stay united and they respect each other within their circle, you know? And we, we are building a circle here at Negus of the entire world. So that means the entire world will begin to start respecting itself within our circle because we all are one. Uh, the, the fist with the crown and the face, the face doesn't have no definition or no character, it, can, it pretty much represents anybody. For me, it represents a change, in fact, a change, a rassemblement, a union between the different origins and cultures. And it's quand même a movement that uh, symbolizes a message positive à travers l'inspiration de chacun. We're leading by example, showing that we're all coming from different places. We've all only known each other probably for the past three or four years. So it's like, oh snap, you know, it's just family, it's just love. It's just giving back, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 a kingdom, you know, it's it's to make you appreciate yourself. You know, we are all kings and queens, no matter what anybody else tells you, you're a king and a queen. So walk as one, walk proud as one, and move as a king would walk, move as a queen would walk. You understand the power you have. And a lot of people might be scared to be a king or a queen because they don't know exactly what that entails or what they have to do to be a king or a queen. They just think that money or power makes you a king or a queen, or you rule a country, you're a king or a queen, but really you rule yourself. So if you're a king, if you're a master of your own universe, then you have complete control over your destiny. 
And that's what, to me, the Negus World Movement is. It's, it's empowering everyone to become their own king and queen in their own right and, and be the best they can be. It's that spirit of our, our ancestors and the revolutionaries before us that have paved the way for us to, you know, be that change the world needs today. And, you know, when people feel that and connect with that and become part of that, it just confirms to us that, uh, you know, we're on the right path and, uh, you know, we're fulfilling our destiny. And that's what it is. And, and the Negus World Movement is definitely uh, is willing to do that is willing to continue to, to, to just live as, as individuals who, who respect each other. And then the more people see that, the more they'll probably think it's, it's the right way to live. The idea of, of retraining an entire population of people to think of themselves as kings and using the word negus instead of negative words that have been used in the past was so inspiring to me. It was it was just so empowering that I thought this is something really important and it's going to be really big. Yeah, that's the biggest misconception right now, the word Negus looking and sounding so close to the word nigga. But uh, don't get it confused. We are not trying to replace the word nigga because there are niggas out there. Uh, we are trying to change the way you think, though, from, from a nigga to a Negus. You know, from, from being ignorant to a king. Maybe people look at the black power fist and they automatically assume it's just for people of color and excludes everybody else, which is not the case. You know, it's bigger than that. You know, people are keeping everything in this little small box when it's much bigger than that box. You know, it's, it's not just for this one race, it's for everyone. We're all, it's a, the human race, you know, it's for everyone. Truthfully, if they don't know about the movement and they don't do the knowledge themselves, then everything they say really doesn't matter to me. I'm not gonna speculate on what they're, what they're thinking. I don't, I don't follow negativity, I keep it positive. But one of the misconceptions is that uh, my brother and I decides what Negus is or uh, how to live as a Negus. We don't. You know, we're just exposing it, and, and every day we learn something new. Every day we learn how to love more. But I think what's important is that Negus has really stayed true to who they are, and they haven't let anybody, not an advertiser, not a corporate sponsor, not a person on the street, really sway or try to take them away from their roots and being true to who they are, and that's what makes them who they are, and that's what will eventually make them wildly successful. My soul will become happy. So when my brother and I decided to spread the, the news word, we just knew that people would connect and identify to it. You know? and, uh, when we decided to make it a movement on January 1st, 2007, uh, we knew it would spread, but uh, the speed of it just blew our expectations. Now, we have musicians, Filmmakers, dancers, artists, fashion designers, and even the kids spreading the message. You know, these artists are some of the most talented people I know, like uh, Regime Change, just uh, holding it down on the music side uh, with their lyrics, beats, the message. You know, they even go to school, talk to the kids. They, they're some of my favorite artists right now, period, you know. And, and of course, we have my brother, Ben Shumi, who is uh, one third of our group. Negus World Order, and uh, uh, he's one of the biggest Creole hip hop artists out of Haiti, you know, and uh, he's an activist, uh, and uh, he's also an up and coming actor who has done like three films for one of Haiti's biggest directors. Well, speaking of director, we have a Third Eye who is a two time award winning director himself, you know, and he just released a documentary called uh, Diamond in the Rough. And uh, he also does all the music videos for Negus World and some of the photographies and uh, the graphics, you know. So um, in the dance world, we have Warren who has been blowing up the crump scene in Europe, you know, taking it to a whole other level and really, uh, it really is a major part of spreading the movement in Europe, you know. And we also have uh, Nigi Shasha who is a hip hop dancer and a teacher doing her thing with the Nigi's Shari and Abby 
who are um, aspiring artists themselves. I mean, man, there are so many niggas, so many niggas doing big things. It's from Jizo, the head of Nigu Swell in France, Mimi, Ron with the photography, Leslie Black with the dancing, Joyce, all holding it down for the movement in France. So uh, production-wise, we have Blanc Local and Teddy Boy from uh, Diaspora representing Haiti to Switzerland and uh, happens to be the son of a legendary Lolo and Manze from uh, Bookman Experience who we recently had the opportunity to get in the studio with, rock a show with, and now they are involved with the Negus World Movement. Uh, we've got Negus Jame making some of the illest beats for the upcoming Negus World Order album. I mean, uh, you're probably listening to uh, one of his beats right now. I mean, there's so much talent coming out of Negus World. I don't know what to say, except uh, I can't wait to see what's next. My thing is, Negus world is gonna is, is growing every day. Every day we reach a different soul. Every day somebody new knows about the movement. Uh, never ending learning process, never ending growing process. I see people growing and learning from one another. I see them having schools where we teach the kids about the knowledge of becoming a king and queen, libraries, art centers, where we can really you know, start to help the youth from an early age Music, dance, art, provide jobs for people, activism. It's gonna be a brand name, it's gonna be a household name. It's, you know, you say Negus, is, is people just gonna be like, oh, yeah, I know about that because Negus is part of Greenpeace. Yo, what's next? Who's next? You know, what stage is next? What theater is next? What school is next? Oh, I saw I saw Negus over here planting trees. I saw Negus over here saving people from, from this disaster. Definitely see the world being united and Negus world will have something to do with that. Negus is gonna be everywhere because everybody is already a Negus. So when they hear about it, joining, you're already a member. It's not about money, it's not about material things, it's not about power and being rich and famous. It's about giving people hope and giving them a message that they can hold on to and believe in. The future depends on you, you know? Uh, where do you see your life in the next 10, 15 years? You know, um, what vision for your life and for this world do you have, you know? Um, are you gonna keep letting people control your life? Or are you gonna take your destiny in your own hands and do something with it for yourself, you know? And, you know, I think that's what Negus is all about, man. Um, you know, are you any goose? It's time for change, it got us caught up in the system. Regime falling, so we holding on the pistols. Half Americans, half sleep, there's more than life than counting sheep. Living life the way we feel, regime change, that's for real. Doctors say you just take your pill for fiends, say that's what we grill. So there we are back at the Negro Squad headquarters. So now you know what we have to go through in order for you to wear that Negro gear. So uh, where we, we pride, hopefully you get to appreciate it a little bit more. And together, let's uh, spread the Negus word and turn this globe into a Negus world. Negus up. Maybe one day I'll fix it. Right now I'm on the block, looking for my men.